Okay, today we're on the floor because we're going to be playing with this Ruko 6088 robot. It's a future robot. It uh, has a infrared control and also hand gesture control. It has a built-in rechargeable battery. It comes with a USB cable that you plug in there and then plug into your computer. You do have to come up with uh, two AAA batteries for this infrared remote. And it comes with a simple manual. You really don't need it except for maybe the one function of programming. Now I have done uh, two other Ruku robots in the past, which you can find on my channel. I'll put links to them down below. But I did Will, which is the 7088. In fact, I did two videos on that one, opening it up to show that you could replace the uh, rechargeable battery in there if need be and their cubby, which is their NX-01. Well, let's just walk back and look at that for a second. If you guys don't mind being jostled around, it's not that, not that far. It's just back here. There, that big dark box. It's quite a bit bigger, as you can see. It's a fairly large robot, it's a 7088. And then the little cubby, the little cube one. Now the one we're looking at today does seem to be very reminiscent of this induction smart robot which does not have the name Ruko on it anywhere. Uh, the remote and most of the functions seem very similar but there are some differences. So it's, it could be a rebranded version of that with some uh, other functions which is fine. The nice thing about it is I have found all these on Amazon and it's a very inexpensive robot. It was, I didn't do a whole bunch of searching. It's like 38 bucks, it was no big deal. So, turn it on, you have a button on the chest. I believe it does a startup demo routine. Which will let it complete. I'll move back a little bit more if need be. Okay, so there it's waiting now to play or something. Now on this remote, you can make it go forward, backward, left or right, and a mode switch in the middle will make it go fast or slow. And these are glide type movements. There's motors in the feet. Over here you can do the same thing, forward, backward, right and left, but these are more walking where the legs will move and the arms will move. And again you have a mode switch for speed. So for example, let's make it turn right. And I did that so that you'll be able to see the leg movement better on camera. That was the back. Now I'm going to hit the mode switch. Let's do back again. See how it slowed it down. So we've got fast and slow. Let's go over to the uh, glide one. That was what? A turn left? Let's do a turn right. Oh, well, I'm going the wrong way. Forward. Sort of like Gumby, you know, sliding around. Yeah, maybe you guys are all too young to know what Gumby is. Nice thing about it also is that you have a volume control. You can turn the volume up and down. In fact, you can turn it all the way down. So it doesn't have to be annoying. There's a main stop button when you're other modes. For example, here's a demo button where it's going to play music and move around. I think there's more than one demo on there. That's kind of a Michael Jackson kind of demo. Let's try another. Hey, back on camera, bud. Come back here. Because there were three of them, so this would be the third one. Okay, let's hit stop. Hit stop, that's the end of that. Now, the only thing that seems to be mislabeled really on here is this button and this button. This one says Popular Science and mine it says ABC English. In both cases the manual that comes with it says these are patrol modes as is the machine language one. So basically it's just going to make noises, gibberish sounds and, and move around. As if it's controlling. I'll hit uh, stop on that and let's try the next one. See if it's any different. I think it's the same. 
stop on that. And here's a music one, which I believe is the classical. I think there's three different classical songs. Well, maybe it's the kids' songs. No, it's a classic. Can't hurt to uh, have that be an influence. All right, let's hit stop on that. Machine language, I believe, is like the other patrols. No, oh, it's different. It is just the language without the movement. Got it. And here it says song. I think these are the children's, like, lullaby. Nope. R2-D2 sounds. What do I know, right? That's why we're here playing with it, so we can figure this out. Okay, I'm going to hit stop on that. You got a program button, so you can actually program up to 50 different moves in here. And they say, hit the program once, hit whatever buttons that you want it to do, and then hit the program again and it'll do it. So, let's hit the program once, let's tell it to go forward, let's tell it to turn left, let's tell it to go back, let's tell it to turn right, then let's go over to the glide and say glide forward, no, glide back. And let's try that. Not bad. So I think that could be a lot of fun. Now, there isn't a whole lot more on the box, you know, as far as dates or anything. Um, pretty much your standard blah 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 here, which you can pause and, and read. And there's your item number 6088. Oh, we haven't played with the gestures. It just noticed me moving. Let's try that. Okay. Back up. No? Yes. Uh, forward. Turn. Uh, turn this way. Saw that as a forward. I don't know how close you got to be. I guess not as close as I thought. So, I mean, you can have a lot of fun even if they lose the, the remote or the batteries are dead in the remote. They can just charge up the robot and go with the uh, hand gesture controls and have it do all kinds of weird stuff just by wiggling your fingers in front of it. Hey, you don't know what you're doing, do you, buddy? I got you coming and going. Okay, that's pretty cool. What do you want for 38 bucks? Maybe you can find it for less. Beats me. Give it a look if you think it's something you might need or your kids might need. Your future robot by Ruku 6088.